Hey guys, Tony here, drinking the burbs. Um, so Super Bowl's coming up, and uh, I know a lot of you are probably planning your food buffet. I am planning out my drink buffet. Um, figured I'd go over the stuff that we're going to be serving and why real quick. Uh, so my wife bought this giant bottle of Bullet Rye. Um, really, really good. 90 proof, 95% or yeah, 95% mash bill of rye. Uh, it's got a really good punchy, spicy flavor. I think it's going to stand up really well in mixed drinks. Uh, and a few of the people that we have coming over are big on old fashions. And I've got a smoker, so I'm probably going to make some smoke old fashions that day. Um, I don't see any point in having the bullet rye out if I'm not going to get the regular bullet out too. Um, this is one of my favorite lighter bourbons. It's uh, got a great flavor. Um, I think once again you're at 90 proof. So it's just a really good proof point. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so bullets represented on our uh, buffet for sure. Um, and then from Beam, uh, Old Granddad 114, if somebody wants a pour of something a little bit more pungent, a little, little bit more of those classic uh, bourbon flavors, really dialed up a notch, the Old Granddad 114 is not a bad way to go. And that's actually what I have in this glass here. And man, I love, I love the, uh, not the burn, I don't really, it doesn't really feel like a burn, but I just love that feeling as it's going down at that higher proof point. Uh, also from Beam, uh, the Jim Beam Double Oak, because it's a great sipper, it's a great mixer, plenty of flavor so it can stand up to a mixed drink, uh, but very, very smooth and uh, just a really nice sipping. Lighter, I think this one's 86 proof. Yeah, 86 proof, so that's a good lighter one, too. Uh, we're also going to crack open the uh, bottle of Old Tub. Uh, so, bottled and bond represented well, um, and I love this stuff. Uh, I don't know what it is that I love so much about it. I've yet to identify the flavor that's in it, but another Beam product, so... Uh, yeah, kind of weird. We got three bean products being uh, put out there. I'm also going to sit out the uh, famous grouse uh, for anybody that wants to uh, try or sip on some scotch. Uh, this is a really good one. I've heard uh, a lot of people um, uh, basically say that this is a good representation of a, of a base level scotch. It's nothing high end and it's actually really cheap too. I want to say this bottle was under 20 bucks when I bought it. I bought it a while back. I personally, myself, am not a Scotch fan. Uh, but you can see I took a little sip off of it <laughs> when I opened it. But uh, So we'll, we'll sip that out. And then uh, the very, very important one, scoop these over. Uh, because this is what we were drinking on for the uh, AFC Championship. And the Bengals obviously won. So I will be picking up another bottle of the Bro Brothers bourbon uh, to have. Uh, I let my father-in-law try it at the um, AFC Championship when we were over their house. He really liked it. Our cousin Tony really liked it. Uh, it's just a nice sip and very light. Um, I don't know. It just, it doesn't overpower you at all. Um, and, and that's the exact same thing that my father-in-law said when he tried it. He's like, man, that's just a really nice sipper. Like that would be great in the summer. And I was like, yeah, that's Exactly what I said. So, uh, but we will be getting another bottle of this to uh, crack open for the Super Bowl uh, because not 100% sure that's why we won, but you know, why, why buck the odds? Uh, do everything the same way and uh, hopefully we'll get the same result. So, anyway, that's my, uh, that's my whiskey buffet for the uh, Super Bowl party that we are hosting at our house. Um, not sure how many of you out there are Bengals fans, but if you're Bengals fans, uh, I guess they got some good uh, news on some of their players uh, that were previously injured, especially on the defensive side. Uh, Joe Burrow still says that he's dealing with his uh, pinky finger issue, uh, but he said it's a non-issue in the games. He said that's not where it's been bothering him in the games at all. So, And, and I mean, he's been dealing with it since December 5th. It doesn't seem to have slowed him down any. I I don't think it's uh I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. Uh, what other news do we got? Well, Joe Burrow was named uh, 2021 NFL Comeback Player of the Year, and Jamar Chase, uh, the 2021 Rookie of the Year. So, um, 
pretty cool. Those two guys, they were also voted to the uh, AFC, uh, all AFC team. Um, they obviously are not going to go play in that game, but it, it's still good for them to get that recognition and, and uh, have, the, have the fans in the NFL put them in that uh, position to be able to say, hey, we're not going to make it, but thanks, thanks a lot for the honor. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, back to whiskey. Um, completely forgot to bring this up. Although, if you've seen my uh, TikToks or my previous videos, I believe I've mentioned it a few times. But, so for the AFC Championship, we opened the Elmer T. Lee. We, we made a, a decent little dent in the bottle, but not, not too bad. Uh, when, when the Bengals win the Super Bowl, uh, this bottle of Weller single barrel that my wife won in the OHLQ liquor lottery. Um, and by one, I mean, she won the right to buy it, but 55 bucks for a bottle of Weller single barrel. Um, I mean, crap, you're paying, you're paying 55 bucks for Weller antique 107 now. So, uh, and this is one of the rarer bottles. I, I've, I've not seen too many people have this one. Um, eventually I would like to add a Weller 12 year, uh, a CYPB and a foolproof, uh, to my collection. But for now I have, uh, the Weller single barrel, the Weller antique 107, and then I got a 175 of the Weller uh, special reserve. So, so a while back I had actually gotten a pretty good deal on some of these little um, these little barrels. Now these aren't aging barrels; they're they're not going to impart any flavor. Uh, they're plastic food grade, plastic lined on the inside, uh, but still not a bad looking little wooden barrel on the outside. Um, if you, uh, if you have a few cheap bottles on your bar and you'd like to spice up the look of them a little bit, these things are kind of nice. And so what I'm going to be doing, uh, sometime after the Super Bowl is actually giving a few of these away. Um, I believe I have four or five of them down in the basement. Uh, and so I'm probably going to give about four of them away. Like I said, if you've got a cheap bottle, um, like, Henry McKenna, um, so like this, um, you know, something like this is a way to dress it up. This is not a super attractive bottle, but it is good juice. So bang, pour this in here. Now you have an interesting way to serve up your, uh, inexpensive, uh, bourbon, um, remind you, we use the word inexpensive, not cheap. Cheap has a negative connotation to it. Um, and uh, no bourbon that I've ever had would be, in my mind, classified as cheap. Uh, they're simply inexpensive. All of them are good in their way. So, um, yeah, so that's about it. So I will have information about the uh, barrel giveaways uh, going up on my website, drinkingtheburbs.com. Make sure you go there, check that out. You may also want to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I will probably do um, one giveaway on TikTok, uh, which you can find me on there at Drinking the Burb. It wouldn't fit the S. Um, all my links are on my website, though, so I highly recommend you go to drinkingtheburbs.com. I'll have information there about how many of these are to be given away on each one of my social media sites. The links to the sites will be there. Uh, so definitely follow me on Instagram. I know for sure I'll be giving one away there. Definitely follow me on TikTok. I'll be giving one away there. Uh, and then probably uh, two away uh, here on the YouTube channel. Uh, so tell a buddy, bring a friend, uh, buy, sell, trade. Just don't, uh, don't overcharge on the secondary market. So anyway, I hope you guys are drinking something delicious. I have a little bullet right here along with my old granddad, 114. Um, but I hope you guys are drinking something delicious and I will see you guys this week. I'll probably put another video out midweek when we have a little bit more news, uh, regarding the Super Bowl. Uh, the Bengals being in the Super Bowl has kind of become the highlight of my, uh, my year so far. Thank God it's early on in the year. So anyway, drink something yummy. Cheers.